Hi Libras! <laughs> welcome to my channel. Welcome, 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 my fellow air signs. I'm over here clearing the energy a little bit before we get started. Alright, well, let's just get started. Remember, Libras, that uh, energy is fluid, time is an illusion. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This is a general reading, so if love wants to show up, right, we'll talk about it. All right, Libras, let's get right into it. Calling in my archangels, my guardian angels, spirits of love and light, universe source, energy, Father God, divine mother, please assist me in being a clear channel of guidance, clarity, understanding, and healing for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for their highest and best good. Spirit, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, caring connections and, and um, Archangel Gabriel for throat chakra. So there's some communication that needs to take place or will take place regarding a love connection here, a partnership. Coming up soon. Someone is in their head thinking about it. The thinking man, right? Let's get right into it, spirit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Angel of strength, Libras, spirit, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Libras, oh my goodness. We got somebody in love over here. Wow. Yes. Somebody that's actually requiring some strength. This could be your energy or somebody that you're dealing with. Please feel free to reverse the rules. Um, yeah, somebody's thinking about this a communication. Somebody's trying to strategize a, a master plan, right? To be victorious here and bringing in this love. Could be dealing with the Leo. Doesn't have to be. Or a water sign. Doesn't have to be. <laughs> but um, we have someone in love. In love. Someone very romantic. Someone that wants to extend their heart. That wants to communicate from what I gather. Strategizing. Making a plan. Because they want to be victorious here. This is the second time I'm seeing victory come out. Um, you could probably be dealing with a Scorpio. Victory came out for Scorpio also. Okay, Spirit. Libras. Let's clarify some of this. Angel of Strength. Someone is requiring strength. That's solar plexus energy. Solar plexus. Strategizing. Strategizing a victory here for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Someone's in love. Someone is in love. Someone is wearing their heart, wants to wear their heart on their sleeves here and open up, express some feelings and some emotions. My deck is all facing up. That's why I'm shuffling retarded like so that it doesn't. Oh, I don't know how people do it like this. I normally do it the other way, but it'll mess up the program I have going on here. Oh yeah, exactly what I said. Oh, somebody's in their feelings. Somebody, somebody is wants this person here, whether this is you or somebody that's connected to you, is ready to come in and romance you, wine and dine you, court you, sweep you off your feet, right? Let's find out more. This is looking like it's going to be a love reading. <laughs> Spirit, angel of strength for Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Angel of strength. What's this about? Why is this here? Who needs strength? The angel of strength is just asking for you to call. Cross watchers, I could be talking, um, I could be talking to you. The angel of strength is saying, call on me and ask me to help you be, be strong enough to come through and make this offer of love, this proposal or something. Spirit, the angel of strength for Libras, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Angel of strength. Why is the angel of strength here for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus.
the angel of strength for Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, the sign of Libra in the collective. We got a couple here that jumped. Okay, all right, yes. Somebody, um... Ooh, victory twice, you guys. What a great reading. Somebody has um, developed the strength and the courage to actually take the step to walk away from everything that no longer serves, right? This is a long-term, long-time emotional investment, but whoever this is, this could be you or your person, no longer feeling content and um, deciding to leave the past behind, leaving everything that is not in alignment with your soul's growth, with your journey, where you're headed, and decided to go in a new direction. Somebody is actually, somebody walked away. Somebody walked away from un feeling unfulfilled and feeling unhappy to go after their ninth and 10th cup, right? And, and it took a lot of strength, a lot of perseverance. If this hasn't happened yet, then Spirit is saying to call on the angel of strength to help you to move forward here because you, you have a new direction, a, a new path that's lined up for you. This gentleman is holding the world in his hand here. He's looking out. Um, he's kind of in, in a crossroads in between in between worlds right now. Hasn't really taken that step. Still kind of planning and strategizing to do it. It is requiring some strength and some patience. Um, but it's, I can see that it's happening because um, when you do decide to take the step and walk away from people, places, and things, walk away from limiting beliefs, walking away from the past that is just not fulfilling you anymore, right? When you do make that step, or your person, whoever this is for, um, you're going to be victorious. You're going to have a victory. This is public recognition. This is attention. This is... Um, somebody coming coming out of the war the battlefield right and um and being recognized for their hard work this this could be uh rewards but this is a victory this is what would represent this victory card here and like i mentioned you'll probably be dealing with a water sign and we got the king of cups i felt that immediately when i saw mr mr romance over here holding the heart a man holding a heart. Um, this is somebody that is in love, um, but somebody that actually is emotionally stable, emotionally mature. He doesn't. Um, he doesn't wear his uh, emotions and his feelings on his sleeves. He um, he tends to hold back his vulnerability. He tends to not open up about how he feels. But it looks like someone is working towards building the strength to do that. With I saw earlier the throat chakra card jumped out with with caring partnerships. It didn't jump out. I saw it in my pre-shuffle when I was shuffling for you guys. Um, and then we have the star, which is healing, hope, faith. This is also Aquarius energy. So yeah, so we have someone in love, somebody that's wanting a victory here, someone that's getting ready to move in a new direction. This is beautiful. Spirit, man holding a heart, please, for Libra. Man holding a heart for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Libra. Man holding a heart for Libra, Spirit. What can you tell us about this, this energy? Man holding a heart for Libra. Man holding a heart. Oh, okay. Now the story is getting interesting here. There's some air energy. This came out in reverse, which is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So this person, um, this man holding a heart, I can see why it's requiring some strength here. Um, because there was some, there was some pain in the past. Um, from this relationship here. There is some pain regarding somebody not really investing a lot of their time, a lot of their energy, not really putting in any, which is probably why you walked away from this, from this energy and decided to go in a new direction. It took a lot of strength. This is painful, but this is the end, right? 
this is somebody that um, has been through it for a long time. This is like a whole cycle worth of pain and suffering. And now the only way to go is up, right? With the sun coming out. This is that's a, a 10, so it's a completion. So whatever this is, this pain and suffering that you went through, um, that you finally developed the strength to walk away from, to go in a new direction, um, it, after you walk away from it, it's no more, right? It's over with. And these are lessons that we've learned. This could also be mental, mental anguish, repeating in your mind over and over and over again. Um, what the investment, what happened and what didn't happen, what could have happened, things like that. Um, but, uh, and then we also got lots of earth energy here, wands and some cups of wands and of course here's the Libra energy right with the swords but um we have here somebody you could be dealing with a Virgo because we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck but we have here somebody that um hasn't really made any any major moves yet um I guess it's because of this 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 pain and suffering from the past hasn't really made any moves been really slow been watching been reflecting kind of on a pause this is a divine timing energy the seven of the seven of pentacles the, this person is on a pause watching observing he is um, reflecting back moving really really slow trying to decide and see whether or not he wants to continue to invest um, this could be you I could be talking to the cross watcher so please put yourself where it fits um, this person right here is wait is waiting for all of his investments that he invested in to start reaping rewards and it's a long wait divine timing right this is the slowest moving night in the deck so it's taken some patience like i mentioned earlier it's taking some strength for um this new beginning to be to manifest this is what you call the strategy right so this man holding a heart is strategizing watching and waiting and observing and trying to strategize assessing assessing his investments assessing where he wants to continue to invest assessing what he's invested in the past and um, waiting for his uh, abundance to reap the rewards right so he can have something to offer something to give when he comes in and reaches out to you if um, if this is somebody that you are interested in working things out with this is somebody that is absolutely in love somebody that has gone within if you're dealing with an earth sign of Virgo that has gone within, has done some soul searching, has taken some time alone, right, um, to, to find some wisdom, some soul wisdom, learn from his mistakes here. If this is, um, if this person has put all of these swords in your back here, he's learned from, from his mistakes is what I'm seeing. And um, he's healing and he's trying to balance out his energy, right, alchemize connecting with the earth, connecting with spirit here, transmuting water, fire and water, transmuting energy, working on healing and balancing out for a reconciliation to take place, if this is a reconciliation. Um, but this person right here has definitely learned a lot of lessons, especially a lessons in patience is what I'm hearing, because it's taking a lot of patience, a lot of patience with the strength, strength card, um, with the Temperance card and the Seven of Pentacles. And of course, the Knight of Pentacles. This is all very, very slow moving. So a lot of patience. So this lesson is, is having to do with a lot of patience because naturally, right, it takes time to heal from something like this. It's not an overnight um, thing here. Not an overnight thing. And um, we also got some regret. Yeah, somebody... Is carrying a burden right now because of some regrets from the past. Somebody is in love. Somebody regrets what they've done. They're carrying a huge burden. Uh, this is somebody sluggish, tired, um, emotionally overwhelmed, spiritually overwhelmed, but not giving up, continuing. Because again, we got another ten here for completion, right? But this is somebody that's sad. Somebody that's in regret, guilt, remorse because they made some poor choices. Um, this is grief, depression, pain. That you know, poor choices from the past, right? 
Um, this person really needs to go through their process, their, their healing process, which is probably why it's taking so long, because they need to actually feel it to heal it. Um, when they finally decide to put the burdens down, remove the, the dark cloak of negativity and turn around, they'll see that they have a, an opportunity, right, with these two cups here for a new beginning in love. So um, if this is you, Libra, my suggestion to you would be to actually continue to do what you've been doing, going within, doing the work, healing, praying, um, working on your chakras, aligning, right? Transmuting energy, transmuting the pain, because you have an opportunity here for a new beginning, a victory. We're going to find out what this victory is here and how all of this is going to come together and relate regarding this man holding a heart spirit victory for libra please victory clarify victory what's this about for libra sun moon rising and venus victory why is that here for their energy right now oh yes spirit so you got the ten of cups that is that's a victory <laughs> that's a beautiful victory that's a victory probably after this right some deception some hurt some pain some suffering from this uh could be from this individual here the man holding a heart uh it's going to be worth the wait is what i'm hearing whatever it is that you have been patient about waiting on healing from it's it's to bring you this ton of cups and complete emotional fulfillment and happiness family family health let's see what else victory what else here could leave for libra sun moon rising and venus got the ace of swords you got another victory this is victory all around right victory 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 you're gonna have your stability back this is earth energy though lots of earth here and here's sword your energy you're gonna have this could be a commitment that you're waiting on this pentacle this offer right um but this is somebody that is this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with that is grounded that is stable that is nurturing she she has her own pentacle here. She can be a businesswoman, um, entrepreneur. She's the wife. She's a mother. She works. She can take care of the house, right? She's extremely, this is earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, extremely nurturing, mothering. This is, uh, I would consider this a commitment energy. Somebody that wants a commitment with you or you want to come in. They see your value and your worth. That's why they're in so much regret. And the victory is that whatever it is that you're trying to manifest regarding this love, if this is love or career, that it, it's a yes from spirit. You're going to be victorious. It's coming towards you. You're going to get the answers that you're looking for, the clarity, the breakthrough, um, the idea, communication. The communication is coming in. It's going to make you feel very happy and very fulfilled. Okay? This is beautiful. <laughs> I, I love this for a victory. Oh, wow. Somebody returning from your past. Here's the queen, king of wands here. Resurrection, right? Somebody somebody you cut off is coming back. Resurrecting from the dead. This is um, judgment card. This is the awakening card. This is somebody coming in for another chance, a second chance. This is the angels that's working with you behind the scenes here, helping you out. So make sure you call on your angels. This is karma, right? Needing to, is coming back around. To balance out the scales here so you're gonna get your second chance your resurrection somebody returning from the past to reconcile with you and it and um, somebody is very passionate somebody wants to come rushing in really really passionate wanting to offer you um, this commitment this new beginning this reconciliation the six of cups is soulmate twin flame energy somebody from the past missing you missing you regretting um, regretting what they've done re regretting their Poor choices and this energy here is not whole on their own they don't have self-love and they're um, operating from woundings they can have a bunch of people in their back pockets and they can involve third parties and they can be disloyal and dishonest but I'm not seeing this here I'm seeing somebody that's actually went through an awakening that actually learned their lessons that went through the pain the suffering the loss after you walked away right after you go, uh, regained your stability here started focusing on yourself on your goals on your dreams yes miss still missing this is a mutual feeling of two people feeling very um nostalgic and reminiscing somebody a soulmate from the past could be returning um 
or this could be you that healed your inner child as well but yeah you have somebody that's wanting to come in um and that's been strategizing watching and waiting for the right opportunity um to come in with this communication right to offer you a new beginning could be a, um, somebody you were married to doesn't have to be but this person um, is somebody that sees you as, as as wife material, wants to have children with you, wants to get married, wants to have a family with the Ten of Cups, or this is you wanting that with this person. And that's and if this, that's what you're manifesting, there's going to be a victory here. Let's see Spirit with the strategy. The strategy. Strategy for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Strategy, Spirit. Strategy. Oh, okay. The, 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 yeah, here he is again. I knew it was him strategizing. I could tell. I could feel it. This energy here. Yeah, there's somebody that that's secretly with the moon card here. It could be a Pisces if you're dealing with the water sign. Secretly, there's water here. Water, water, water. Um, right now, I just have one major arcana so far. But secretly, this person is has some emotions or some feelings and some love that he's not communicating with you. That's like suppressed emotions. Um, this person, is, it's, it's about to be revealed. It's about to come to light. Whatever it is that this person hasn't communicated with you yet, whatever it is that he hasn't opened up about, um, he wants to. That's what he strategizes. That's what clarifies strategy here. He is um, watching and waiting and trying to figure out a way after you cut him off if you cut him off that's what i'm getting here walked away right you want he's he's feeling a little fearful though the moon represents fears illusions right uh, confusion suppressed emotions dark night of the soul uh, the moon can if he's still in that five five if he's still working through that five of cups energy of regret guilt remorse he is still um he's trying to work through his fears is what i'm getting with the hermit card and temperance he's trying to work work through his fears um trying to to strategize a way of how he's going to open up and be vulnerable and express his emotions to you He's coming in as a king, though, which is nice, not a knight. Perhaps he was a knight in the past, which is what led to a knight or a page, immature is what I'm getting. That's what led to not opening up, not being honest, not expressing their, his feelings, you know, and the, which led to a lot of pain, a lot of confusion. Maybe there was... A choice between two people here and somebody just finally decided no i'm not a choice i'm not an option i'm just going to walk away from this whole situation here altogether and it left because i'm saying that because of the three of cups the moon equals secrets right i mean i'm sorry not the three of cups the three of pentacles the moon equals secrets right so um the three of pentacles is just more than one person involved so it could have been that um but the three of pentacles could it, also means somebody coming together working together partnerships and alliance somebody that um wants somebody that's recognizing putting putting someone on the pedestal here recognizing their work recognizing them for for for, for who they are in their life their value their worth um somebody that actually wants to be a team player here right see eye to eye and come together and um and work together this could be business this could be a love love situation and yes you could be dealing with the pisces here is the hanged man <laughs> also represented by pisces so you have like three pisces energy here or a scorpio right um there was definitely some competition in the in the past that um led to people being left out in the cold here a lot of people involved which i saw that with the three of pentacles and the two of wands and of course, all of these swords, all these swords doesn't really happen um, unless there was there was somebody being rejected, left out in the cold because there was multiple people involved, a lot of conflict, a lot of drama, a lot of fighting, not seen eye to eye. 
So somebody definitely left somebody out in the dust here. And, um, but now if this was you that this happened. Somebody did this to you, right? Here you are. Justice. That's your energy. Here you are bringing some justice into this whole situation here. Fairness. Karmic justice is going to be balanced out in your favor. Um, we just had your your moon, your full moon come up here. It was real intense, by the way. So thank you for that. <laughs> thank you for that, Libras. I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed going through the emotions, right, that this moon um, brought, brought forth for healing and purging. But, um, karmic justice is going to to happen in your favor a decision is going to be made a final decision and it's going to be fair and just and it's going to lead to a victory so yay <laughs> victory all around right truth justice card with the ace of swords is truth that's clarity that's a decision that's victory so good news somebody's going to see things from a different perspective here learn from their lessons, get enlightenment, and then come through and say, hey, you know what? I'm sorry. I, I'm i ready to, to build with you or rebuild, right? Start over. It's going to be up to you to use discernment whether or not you want to. It looks like this person has learned, has matured. It's up to you master their emotions here with the King of Cups. So it's up to you if you want to take this person back. If you want to work on your partnership here, it is up to you guys to use the sermon. You know your situation. Trust your intuition. You know everything that you've been through. I see here that some of you probably are not going to take this person back. You walked away for good. You're going in a new direction, right? It took a lot of strength. It took a lot of patience. It took a lot of courage. But if you do decide to listen to this person when they call, um... It's supported by spirit, right? You're gonna have have a victory because this is how this is how the karmic just the karmic scales is gonna be balanced out for you guys, is if you would at least hear them out. And um, this person wants to express his feelings, his truth, whatever that is. Hear them out, and it'll bring a lot of balance to your life, to your family. To your home stability right that's your energy stability balance justice the justice card and, and it definitely there was a lot of lessons here that was learned for sure let's find out from spirit um from the surrender deck here what we need to surrender for us to get to this victory here right because we do see that there might be some blockages to get to it that's what the delay is about Let's see, Spirit. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to surrender, Spirit, to arrive at this victory? Libra, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to surrender for their manifestation here, for this victory to unfold for them, which is the outcome, I believe. Victory. What is? What do they need to surrender, Spirit, for this victory to take place? Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whoop. For Libra. Surrender to trust. What do they need to surrender? Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to surrender? Libra, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Yeah. You got to surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what, what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Who else got this? Um, who else did it? I think Sagittarius got this. Sagittarius got surrendered to trust. Uh, so, yeah. Probably in the past when you dealt with with uh, somebody that you know had handed some some swords to you to your back to your heart to your spirit to your soul that has probably 
took a toll on um, on trust. It, it, it's pro it, you probably, if you've been healing from this for a long time, has found it really difficult to trust anyone with your heart again, um, or even have faith in in ever feeling fulfilled 100% again and happy with your Ten of Cups and, and having a victory. But Spirit is saying that when you do tap into your intuition, which I mentioned to use your intuition and your discernment regarding this person, when this person returns with this communication and this offer here, right? Trust your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. That's what's going to help with the trust. It's a lot of um, upper chakras here. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. So connecting to the water element, right? I don't see a lot of water here, except for your your king of cups and the moon um, and the man holding a heart. Other than that, it's just a lot of it's swords, it's pentacles. It's it's you did listen to your intuition here by walking away. That's con and you know following the moon, right? Connecting with the moon, listening to the intuition. So definitely continue to do that. Um, listen to your inner voice. You might have to go into prayer, surrender to prayer, talk to God or whoever you pray to and um, give yourself completely over to prayer because that will help you to make the right decision for yourself with the justice card. We saw that. We saw it here. A decision has been made, right? Clarity. For you to find this clarity, for you to feel 100% fulfilled with the, with the Ten of Cups here, and for you to get this victory, it's important that you do connect with your intuition, connect with spirit, connect with the angels, surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe. The answers and support will arrive. Yeah, I'm seeing if it's you or whoever this is, this is for, it could be your person that's in this energy, is really trying to search for for answers here trying to figure out that's what's taking so long for this to manifest and um when you surrender to your intuition that's the water element that's this energy surrender to your intuition completely right trust the guidance that you are receiving get out of your head from strategizing so much strategizing is a very mental energy get out of your head and get into your intuition Get into, get into the the water element. Surrender, surrender to your intuition. It was Pisces. It's Pisces got this. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Pisces. Pisces got this um, card here. Now that I remember, they also needed to surrender to their intuition. So um, when you do that and get out of the mental space so much, you, that's where you'll find the clarity and the answers that you need. So let's get a monology advice here, Spirit, for Libra regarding this spread. Move this over a little bit. For Libra, Spirit, monology. And there's a lot of patience here that that you've that you've you've been strong about a lot of patience once you do trust go within and get and listen to your intuition you will absolutely find your way forward here with the two of with the two of wands you'll see that direction that you need to go go in whether or not it's going to be with this person here or someone new right oh wow what just happened i'm sorry you guys Let's see. Okay, Spirit. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, Spirit. Okay. Yeah. Well, this was in reverse, but I flipped it over because... I don't really read these these energies in reverse. We gotta look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sagittarius. So yeah, that's um if someone is trying to find 
I'm trying to reflect things and, and thinking, right? Thinking and waiting and taking a long time to make some kind of decision here um, regarding their new, their path forward. So we got fire energy here, full moon of Sagittarius. Oh, wow, you, sh you showed up. <laughs> um, look at the bigger picture. So this energy is here supporting you. It's an energy of expansion. You got some big things, some big wins here coming for you, Libra. Uh, but you need to go within, trust your intuition here, and that's where you'll find your answers. Um, we got your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. I see there has been some work put in. There's a lot of pentacles energy. So if you've been doing some healing work or working on a new business adventure, just keep going, keep keep pushing forward. You're very, very close to, to completion here. You're very close to reaching the end because you've got the 10 here. That's already that's already a completion to one cycle, right? So you've been working hard to achieve something here, whether it's financially or trying to make an offer to someone or working on yourself, right? Whatever this is for you, keep going because it's paying off. And I'm sure you're already starting to notice and feel and see results in your external world from all the work that you've been doing. Because this is where, where you're headed here for a victory with the Ten of Cups. Okay? So keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We got a new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, we have somebody here that's in love. <laughs> that's in love. And he wants to come in and offer you. And that's a new moon in Libra. So this is your energy. So you wanted to show up for your own reading a couple times here. But yeah, we have a new romantic cycle begins. So... Like I said, this is the end of this old cycle here of pain and suffering and grief, of the hardships, right? It's the end. The sun is coming out. This is not going to happen again. These lessons have been learned. Um, and people grew from it. People learned. So it's safe for you to trust. Release the energy. Trust the universe. Trust in yourself. Trust in your own intuition. Trust... And, and the messages that you're receiving from spirit, right? This is you, if you have water in your chart. Um, it's safe to trust. It's safe to trust yourself because you have um, big things coming towards you. A new romantic cycle. A new cycle, that's something to celebrate. Whatever hard work you've been putting in here, whatever you've been waiting on, there's somebody that's in love that wants to come in and offer you genuine, genuine and sincere Somebody that wants to invest. Somebody that sees your value and your worth. Somebody that wants to build a family with you. It could be someone that you already have a family with, right? That wants to reconnect. You take it how it resonates for you. I'll leave your comments below and let me know how this resonated. If I did not connect with your energy this time, um, hopefully next time we will, right? All right, take care. Namaste. Stay safe, Libra. Take care. Bye-bye. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.